honest where I start from. I try and impart my wisdom. A combination of truth and fear. That's the way it's always been. My father and his before him. At times we hurt the ones we love so dear. I'll be with you. I'll be waiting for you on the other side. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome over here to the Daskar Philip Golf Super Speed. Well, Golf Super Speedway Series Season Five, two thousand and. 15 here on Sport 1. We are here for one of the most, if not the most important events of this season. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the last race before the chase. We are here for, uh, well, race name will come in a moment. At Ricky Raceway, and you can already hear my voice is really cracked up. It's not, it's not a cold, it's just yesterday I completely destroyed my voice with the we had exam um, with the exam. We had a big party, and well, the exams have not started yet, but they will start. So yesterday was the last ordinary day of school. So a big party, and my voice is gone. So I hope I hope you will be okay with that because you have to listen for this for quite a long time. Because ladies and gentlemen, well, as said, this is the last race before the chase. So chase scenario, we're gonna come through to that in a few months. We'll discuss. Every single driver that is racing, if they can make it or not, because four drivers are already in um, in the chase. They have locked themselves in. Jordan Culp, Bob Jones, Norty Smith, and Ruka Takeda. Those four drivers will be in the chase, um, even if they don't qualify. Then from 5th all the way to 37th, that's around 23 drivers. They All those drivers still have a chance to get in the top 20. And of those uh, 30, what is it, 23 drivers, no, 33 drivers, of those 33 drivers, um, 16 of them will make it in a chase, and the other ones, either unless they have a win, will not. So that's a big thing over here. Uh, it's pretty close. Uh, points of those uh, 5th and 37th. Differ from 222 to 125. Everybody behind uh, there, so 38th in points and onwards. If they want to get in a chase, it is only possible if they have a win. And uh, they need to win then in de at this racetrack. Otherwise, they will not be in. No, None of the 38th and lower drivers have a win. So if, you want, if they have want to get in, they have to win. That's all they have to do now. So that, of course, before you can win, you first have to qualify. So we're going to see how that um, will happen. Of course, this uh, I'm pretty sure everybody already knows it. Um, well, NASCAR, well, I would say uh, pit reporter and good friend of the, NR or of the NASCAR community, Steve Burns, has passed away last week week uh tuesday i think it was so very unfortunate events and in honor of him um we named this race steve burns burns 500 um so yeah i actually i have not been watching nascar for a whole long time i think it's six years now and for or as long as i can remember steve burns was one of the main pit reporters so it was a big loss it's a big loss it's always a force especially after the uh, Bristol race was named in honor of Steve Burns and then two, two days later he passed away so it's really really unfortunate so our condol the condolences are with him um, with his family and his good friends and everybody else in the NASCAR community so rest in peace Steve Burns race will be called to the Steve Burns 500 before that we of course have to qualify um, one driver change, and we'll come to that, mm, yes, in this race, so. Ladies and gentlemen, first we start with Sean Howell. He is not on the pole, though, but Sean Howell, uh, let's see where he is in points. He's 16th in points. Um, 16th in points, meaning he is at the moment in the chase, but he's 13 points in front of 21st, so uh, he has to race hard to get in this chase. Nick Pericles, number 22, he's 28th in points, so he can also still get in the top uh, 20 in points 
and he is 26 points behind um hang on mm. he's 26 points behind uh 20th in points so chris washer number 47 um 35th in points yeah, so he is a little bit just a little bit further back he's 42 points behind 20th so but he can still get in the top 20 and then we got 25 car of sam young um sam young let's take him Look, it's, it might be a it might take me a little bit longer to find him. Uh, Sam Young over here, fifty fourth in points, so he has to win to get in the chase. Cassie Spengler in the number eleven car. Uh, she is very good in points. She's fifth in points, uh, meaning forty seven points to the good. If she qualifies for this for this race, she's already clear. I, she, I I'm pretty sure she's already gonna make it into the chase. So, well, it's already. Almost certain for her. Now we got 84 North Smith as said. She's already locked in this chase. We got 15 car Harry Hills. Um, Harry Hills is at the moment uh, 21st in points. He's one point behind 20th best knee. So if he makes up one point on her, he's gonna be in the top 20. But of course, everybody be uh, behind him has to finish behind him. So he also has to gain points on them. And then Harry Hills might be a well, chase contender, big chase contender over here. We got Ami Yumi in the number 8 car right here. Um, Ami Yumi, she's 15th in points. And uh, 13 points as well as Sean Howell uh, in front of Harry Hills, 21 or 21st in points. So she has to race hard to make it. And if she qualifies, she has already a big chance. So the 67 car of Debbie Myers over here. Um, she is 45th in points, so she has to win. Almost got a win. I'm not sure. Honestly, actually, this was a qualifying race win. So. She has to win in order to get in the chase. Then we got 66 car. Um, Jason Sinclair, 50th in points, so he has to win. We got Bess Neeson, number 63 car, uh, 20th in points. So, one point in front of Harry Hills. Uh, that's going to be tight for her, but she has to do everything she can. Just get a solid finish and she will be in the chase. We got the 16 car of uh, Natalie Hills. She's 8th in points. So 42 points to the good. So already a high chance for her to make it in the chase. If she just finishes well. We got 99 car of Jeff Levi. 12th in points. 17 points in front of 21st. So he has to also step it up a little bit. Um, and then he can make it in the chase. We got Ray Tackett over here in the 08 car. Uh, she's 33rd in points. So she can make it in the top 20 still. Uh, let's see, 39 points behind 20th. However, she has a win. And everybody who has a win and is not in the top 20 will make the chase. Or at least the best 5 drivers of those. So that means we have now Diana Vasquez, Robert Young, Jade Hale, Case Curvin and Ray Takeda. But if somebody who's in front of Ray Takeda gets to win this race, then Ray Takeda will not make it. So it will be a battle between those people as well, all the winners who are not in the top 20. So yeah, that might be interesting as well. 59 car, Zachary Fitzwater. Um, Fitzwater is... Let's see if I can find him. Um, I thought I've seen him, but... Well... Oh, there he is, ninth in points. So Zachary Fitzwater, thirty-six points for him. Um, that's pretty great for him. So we'll see what he can do. Uh, thirty-six points. That is to the good of twenty in front of twenty-first. So if he just gets a solid finish, he will make it. Then we got Jordan Culpin, twenty-six car. Of course, your points leader. So he already locked in the chase. Big margin over his second. It is twenty-one points over Bob Jones. So Jordan Culp there. Already locked in chase, and we got the 41 car of uh, Beth Black. And Beth Black is 19th in points, that's really close. Also, tied with Beth Sinise, one point in front of Harry Hill. So, she has to race very, very hard to stay in the top 20. And well, qualifying would help a lot. Then we got the 65 car of Isaac Sinclair. Uh, Isaac Sinclair is 36 in points, so 45 points behind 20th. So that's going to be a tough one for him. He has to race really, really hard and then, well, possibly win. Then he will make it in the chase. 
And last but not least, our new driver, the 75 car, of course, Annie Thomas. Um, she crashed very, very hard last week at uh, the Pix Creek Super Speedway. And she, at first, was going to be out for the full season, but um, seems like she's doing already much better. So she's, um, from what it looks like now, gonna, she's going to miss three races. Um... We got Annie Thomas um, in 27 points. All the points Ryder Smith or Ryder, Ryder Anderson gets will go to um, Annie Thomas. However, um, if she wins this race, um, then that win will not count for Annie Thomas concerning one of the wins to get to get with the wild card in the race. That will not count. But all the points, if she managed to get in top 20 points. Uh, because of Ryan and or, or, or Ryder Anderson, that's gonna happen more often. Ryder Anderson, but Ryder or Ryan Anderson. But if Ryder Anderson uh, gets uh, her in a chase or in the top twenty points, then uh, yeah, Annie Thomas will be in chase. But if she wins, then Annie Thomas will not be in chase. Ryder, Ryder Anderson, however, is then eligible to get in the chase. So then Daniel Voyles will have to think about. What to do? Either keep Ryan Anderson in the car for the full season because then she will be a chase contender, or let her be released after, or well, release get let Annie Thomas get back after three races, and then um, Ryder Anderson, yeah, she might be well, she she will not get any points then, but that will all be if she wins in the first, she has to qualify. So, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna get this qualifying race underway. And that introduction is gonna last for, or we're gonna do that two more times today. So it takes a little bit of time, but of course, this is the race. If you don't qualify already, you might be already in or out of the chase. So that is how big this thing is. Hmm. So it's really. Yeah, it might be possible indeed, Cassie Spengler. And Bruce Littlejohn, they have 47 points over 21st. They might be already locked in this chase um, when, whenever they qualify for this race. Why? Well, because 47 points, the maximum amount of points difference between the first and the last is 45 points. However, of course, uh, 47 points, that is w or with the um, bonus points you get for winning qualifying race, you also, yeah, that also counts still, so... Ladies and gentlemen, we got Nick Pericles bring us to the green flag. Here we go. Qualifying race number one. Five laps. <coughs> I might actually start talking a little bit less because I can already feel my throat hurting. Ooh, a little bit of contact there with the 66 car that was Jason Sinclair. If I'm correct. Oh boy. Yeah, it's tight racing over here. These guys are fairly aggressive. And Nick per or Nick Berkeley has already been kicked back. And now it is to the 84 car of North Smith. She's gonna cross the line in first. But it's only with a tiny margin. So the full field is caught within this camera glimpse. That's quite amazing. And oh it's only 19 cars, so not a whole lot. Norty Smith's up front for her, it doesn't really matter where she finishes, if she qualifies or not. She will be in the chase nonetheless. And if you get in the chase, I have not mentioned that, or I have mentioned that but the previous race. If you make it in, oh we got a crash in the back, possibly, oh that was a close call. They saved it luckily. But if you get in this chase, um, you will... What did I want to say? If you get in this chase, you will be locked in... in for every race till the end of the season, so Debbie Meyer still up front. Lap number three or five it is. So two laps completed. And here you can see the 65 car is already lagging a little bit back. She or um, that is Isis Sinclair. He made contact with somebody, got turned on the apron. So he has to either hope for a crash, which might come still, or he has to well Brace his butt off to catch up to this group again, but that will be very difficult for him. And if he does not make it in this race, he will not make it in a chase. And he's already pretty far behind, so 
Jordan Cope, your points leader now is going to the points, going down low. On Debbie Myers, followed by Natalie Hill. She needs to qualify for this race and she's almost certain of make it in the chase. There we got North Smith still. Uh, she already locked in the chase. Sean Howell in top 20 in points. Uh, 66 cars now, I believe. So, Jordan Culp. When we come to the line over, we will have one more lap to go, ladies and gentlemen. 16 car. Still fairly clean. Man, that's 65 cars really far behind. 16 cars still in the lead, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be the moneymaker lap. Norja Smith goes to the inside of Natalie Hills. But she's already locked in this chase for her. It doesn't really matter that much. But of course, a win would be a fantastic. She has no wins yet this season. Oh, caution. Oh, and a crash. A crash in the final turn. And we're going to see who was all caught up in that. And that might be the end of some people their race. As it is Norja Smith who comes back around and makes it in the qualifying race. There, Jordan Cope was one of them involved. And we got quite a lot of damn scars over here. Oh boy. Now it will be the question who did eventually, who was lucky enough to make it and who was not. Oh wow. A big crash on the in the final turn. Uh, it's Yeah, now it is official. So ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. The top 40 makes it in the race. So that means that some drivers will be very, very unlucky. Those drivers are Jeff Levi. And boy, oh boy, Jeff Levi, 12 in points. This is going to be tough for him. He has to hope, cross fingers for him, if to make it in the chase. I Sinclair, he is out of chase contention. So he will not make it in the chase because he was 36 in points. And he will not improve. Beth Black in the 41. Oh, I have, I'm afraid for her that she will also not make it 19th in points to all. I'm pretty sure that she will not make it unless she gets really, really lucky over here. Uh, Ryder Anderson, 75 car, not a good, well, replacement seems, or not a good replacement effort for Annie Thomas. So Annie Thomas will not make it in a chase. Ryder Anderson, neither. So, and then we got Jordan Cope, of course, locked in a chase. So... On one hand, it's a, sh a shame that he will not qualify for this race. But on the other hand, it doesn't really matter too much. So, Norja Smith, your winner. Well, that's one of the drivers who was locked in this race uh, crashing. Or was locked in the chase crashing. And the other one winning. So, yeah. Great news for Norja Smith. Is she will get those 9 bonus points. Unfortunately, those 9 bonus points will not count a lot. And will not help her too much. Because she's already locked in the chase. And the bonus points... Yeah, we we actually no, we did the bonus points is only for the uh, people who won uh, main races. So uh, North Smiths will not get any bonus points. Let's see, Sean Howell makes it. That's great for him. Uh, 16th in points. Then we got Natalie Hills making it top 20 points. She was so that's great for her. Jack or Jason Sinclair making it. Zachary Fitzgerald with a number 59 are also making it. So. Great news for them. Best niece in the number 63 car. Makes it. Then we got Sam Young in 25. Ami Yumi in the number 8 car. Finishing in 8. That's great. Uh, Nick Pericles, your pool said eventually finishing in ninth position. So got lucky over there. And uh, Cassie Spengler in the number 11 car. Finishing in 10th and therefore qualifying. Meaning that well, she, her, the chances of her making it in the chase are very, very big. Um, Ray Tacken in the 08 car in the 11th, Chris Washer in 12th position, Harry, Harry Hills in 13th, and eventually Debbie Myers, lucky for her in 14th. So she still has a very, very small chance to win uh, well, the main race and make it in a chase. So, yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look first at what happened over here in turn number four on the last lap. So, ladies and gentlemen, there we are back again. Ryder Anderson was the one who caused this crash. So, um, rookie mistake. Mm, well, I'm not sure. Maybe just too excited to make it in the race, trying too hard. Eventually, she got in the back of the 66 car. Turned her and the 66 on the apron, but she shot up on the racetrack again into the 99 car. Into the 26 to 41, eventually a 67 car as well. Almost bad black flipping over. So Debbie Myers was really the lucky dog in this thing. 
And there's the 65 car. I'm wondering if um, Isaacler ran into this. I don't think so, actually, no. Self cleaning race trick, that's great, but this car did not make it. This one not, this one not, this one not. And also 65 car not, so. Real big shame. And some people going through the grass. Let's take another look at this. Uh, Ryder Anderson. Of course, one of Daniel Voyles' drivers, so. <coughs> It's a shame. Just, I think it's just for her was tr just trying too hard to make it in the main race, and she would have been fine if she kept racing over there. And there, Jordan Cope, she's gonna retire. So that's a shame for Jordan, but of course he's already locked in chase. Just like this driver, Norwich Smith, ladies and gentlemen, she won qualifying race number one. Let's take a look at qualifying race number two. I'll be with you. I'll be waiting for you on the other side. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back over here to the Ricky Raceway for qualifying race number two for Steve Burns 500, the last race before the chase. So we just had one qualifying race with a well, pretty big crack on the final lap. And what I forgot to mention, what I still want to mention, uh, take a look at the Facebook page because I just posted a question over there, uh, well, a few hours ago, uh, concerning having in the Phillips Cup Series Season 8 sprint races in the main race. Or a sprint race and the main race. And, well, go check it out. I'm not going to explain it. I just want to continue over here. So, if you missed the introduction, take a look at the beginning. So, there we go. Let's now, looking at these drivers 07 cars, Skyler Dixon, he's 24th in points. So, knowing that a couple of people who were in the top 20 in points, like Beth Black, um, did not make it, and Jeff Levi. Um, well, chances are open for Skyler Dixon to make it if he qualifies. So, also, John, uh, then we got Joseph Nesto, number C2 car. Yeah, he's 49 points behind um, Best Niece in 37th. So, that's gonna be a real tough one for him. If he does make it, he's the first one from Maserati to make it. So, we got 10 car of uh, Catherine Young over here. Um, Catherine Young, let's see, she's 14th in points. So. Um, only six, 14 points in front of 21st, so it's gonna be tight. But yeah, we'll see what she can do. She's been pretty well. She was great last race, but just the result did not come after a crash. So, and a crack in number 18 car. Um, let's see where she uh, is at the moment in points. Um, yeah, she has not really had a fantastic season. Gotta say, she's 47 in points. So she must win to make it in the chase. So we'll see what she can do. There we got Bob Jones. He's second in points. He's locked in his chase. So it doesn't really matter too much for him um, what he will do. We got 30, 30 car of Nick Soman. And Nick Soman is at the moment 48th in points. So he has to win. And if he wins, I'm wondering what will happen um, to... Rowan Rihal, he still planned to race next race, so that would be dis uh, well disaster possibly uh, if Nick Soman makes it in the chase, and then he will miss the first chase race because that's already no go. Then you can already forget making or winning his chase. So two car Rook attack and another driver who's already locked in. So um, she is well two hundred three points doesn't matter too much, but she's fourth in points. So locked in his chase. We got Diana Vasquez. Uh, it's still kind of odd that the spelling on the uh, roof is wrong on the windshield banner. However, um, Diana Vasquez, she's 22nd in points. Uh, only 4 points behind Bassini's 20th. So she will, could make it in the top um, 20 in points. That's a pretty high chance. However, if she does not make it, she still has a very good chance to make it in this chase. Why? Because she has a win. She her win came last race, so she already s almost certain of making it in the chase. So Joshua Michaels 04 car um, in his Rosario and Vampire scheme, 46 in points, so he must win uh, this main race to make it in the chase. Possibly, it's not. Of course, then it's not even certain. But first, you have to pass Ray Tackler then. So yeah. 
Sammy Tukar of John C. Dino over here. Um, John also has not had a fantastic season. Um, let's see where he is in points. Uh, I only have 59 drivers here on the list. So it might be possible that I'm not going to find every single driver. Uh, as they are not, um, well, real good in points. And I think John C. Dino is actually one of them. So... John C. Dean and not in the top 15 in points. Well, that really, sounds really terrible. So, he still can make it in a chase. Yes, he can. If he wins. So, yeah. Has to win in that case. And then we got Betty Johnson, number 71 car. Um, Betty Johnson. She is 38th in points. So, the l first driver to not be able to make it in the top uh, 20 in points. So for her, she must win to make it in the chase. We got Sam Carr, Jeffrey Fingai. Fingai, 10th in points. Um, 23 points in front of 20th. So high chance to make it in the chase. Well, I would say, yeah, decent chance at least. Uh, but of course, then he must qualify. So just like for Jeff Levi, if he does not qualify, it's going to be a tough one and a nervous race for him to watch. Uh, Elena Rose in the number 5 car, she um, is, let's see what she, oh she's really at the bottom of course, because she's replacing Courtney Rose, so all the points she got will go to herself, uh, meaning she is somewhere in 63rd or something in points, so that's a bad race, or well bad break I would say, she's already happy to drive I believe. So Elena Rose, she if she wins, she can still make it in the chase. So we'll see. It's gonna be very difficult then, of course, because she even has to pass Ray Tagger. So I'm pretty sure she's already out of this chase contention. So yeah, tough. Um, Robert Young in number twelve car, um, very up and down season for him actually, because at one point he was really one of the best drivers, and he eventually he feel, fell back all the way. To what was it? Where I just saw him a few moments ago, all the way to 26 in points. So he's done it in top 20, but he still has a win. So the win came at. I'm not sure actually where the win came. I thought Talladega, but ah, oh, it is Talladega. Okay. So he still, if he can manage to stay in front of Jaden Hill, Kate Skirvin, Ray Tech, and the other winner of this race, um, then he can, he will make it in chase. So high chance, I would say. Um, Zach Sasser, 61 car. Uh, Zach is 30th in points, so he, well, he, I would say he has to make to be sure to make it in the chase, but of course, 16 points in front of 21st, that's gonna be a tough one. Uh, Inga Lamliana, the 01 car. Um, she was, well, she did not have a very good season either, 56 in points, so she must win. And then it's almost impossible to make it. So tough one for her. Then we got Amber Zomers in the number 96 car. She already a lot more well has a lot higher chance. 39th in points, but she still must win. And here we got the 28th car of Cassandra Pericles, of course, also replacing uh, Kennedy Wright, I believe, who was replacing Brenda Pericles. So Cassandra Pericles, she must um well, win, and then the chance of her making it in a chase are very, very small. So, that was everybody. Always costs a lot of effort, especially with this voice. So, I already know that I'm after this race, I'm not gonna talk for the rest of today. So, yeah, but we'll see. We've got Joseph Nesto on the pole with this Italian power, the Maserati, of course. I remember last race. Um, I kind of was dissing on the Italian power because, well, John C. Dino has had en or had engine issues, but oh, well, Maserati, of course, he at one moment he has been he has been doing very great. So I honestly cannot re recall uh, what his best finish is in that Maserati, but well, I'm pretty sure it's, it's he has, must have somewhere top 15 for 20 at least. So. Ladies and gentlemen, this Maserati is gonna get us to the green flag. We'll see how it will work out. Ladies and gentlemen, there we go. Qualifying race number two. Who will be. Well, all the. Oh, no, not all the old numbers. But so. Who will make it in a chase? Possibly. Or who will be out? That's for sure then.
And you can see them already leaning on each other. They are aggressive. They want to make it in this race. But, or more than in any other race. Let's see, here comes the 10 car peaking down low on the 62. Catherine Young making it to the lead. Now she has to manage to stay up there. Of course, the 10 car, she has won qualifying race last time at Pixcree, so we know she can win qualifying races, but still has to do it and not crash. Here comes the 4 car of Diana Vasquez. She, of course, is locked in this chase. Uh, it's a tight battle over here. We got a couple of cars hanging a little bit in the back. I'm not sure if that's a wise decision. Jeffrey Fingai there and Robert Young. Well, Robert Young, he's already pretty sure enough chase spot, but Jeffrey Fingai, yeah, I would say not entirely. So, Ooh, a little bit of contact here between two Dodges. Catherine Young almost getting turned by Joshua Michaels. Very aggressive over here. Of course, Joshua, he knows that he must make it in this race. If he cannot, does not make it in this race, he's already toast. He's out of this chase, that's for sure. Ooh, a little bit of contact here. And they are aggressive. Oh, that's even more aggressive, guys. Oh, and it's hard into the wall. And there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, boy. Joseph Vanessa and Cassandra Pericles are out. Inga Lomeliano as well. And this, well, looks like she looked like it was her fault, so... Inga Lombiana will not make it in this chase, and of course we know she's a pre, she's a professional driver. She's a, a veteran in this thing. Already made it a, a, a lot of chases. It won two championships in the Philip Cup Series, so not really her type of or her way of racing. Of course, there's still a chance if there is a wreck of ten cars over here for her to make it, but. I would say that Cassandra Pericles and Joseph Nestor are out, so that's a heartbreak for them. They will not make it in this chase. And here comes the 72 cards. We come across the line, we'll have one more lap to go. And John Cedendino, he's gonna try to do everything he can to make it in, to be able to make it in this chase. Of course, five car of Elena Roses who leaning on him, and her teammate is right behind her, Deli or uh, Diana Vasquez. So, yeah, uh, they are moving by her. Very successful <laughs> they've been lately. Of course, Diana Vasquez won the main race last time, and now we are leaning on each other, turning each other. Diana Vasquez tried to do everything she can to make it by Elena Rose, but it did not happen. That was too late. Sorry about that. So. Elena Rose wins this qualifying race, makes it in the main race. So, nothing else has happened. That's great. Oh, there's Jeffrey Fingai, I'm not sure what his problems were, but I think those are the four drivers that did not make it. Jeffrey Fingai, Ingela Liana, Joseph Nesto, and Cassandra Pericles. So, I just said a few moments ago, Jeffrey Fingai had to make it in this race to be able to ensure himself, well, ensure himself at least to a pretty high extent to, to make it in this chase. But now it's all uncertainty for him. It will be, well, nerve-wracking for him to watch this race. Two seconds behind, so top 14, all within one second behind her is really far behind, so... <coughs> Jeffrey Fingai... Um, yeah, it can still make it in the chase, of course, but it's gonna be tough for him. Uh, Ingram Liana out, uh, Joseph Nesto out, and Cassandra Pericles out. Then we got, of course, Elena Rose. She wins the qualifying race, then she will get those nine bonus points. Well, it might be very useful for her. I'm not sure where she's in point, but I'm already pretty sure uh, she's not gonna make it by Ray Takeda. As Ray Takeda has 135 points. Yeah, so I would say that even if Elena Rose wins this race, it will be impossible to, for her to win. But we will. I had to take. I should have taken a look at that as well. I will do that before the main race, so you'll see her that later. Uh, Diana Vasquez, well, another chance to win another race. Of course, 22nd points, making it in the in the. 
uh, main race. Nick Stoneman in the 30 car also makes it, so great for him. Then we got Joshua Michaels in fourth position makes it. Great race for him. And we got uh, Catherine Young in the number 10 car and makes it. That's important for her uh, being 14th in points. Aruka Takeda, well, it doesn't matter too much for her, but she at least makes it. Bob Jones, same story as Aruka Takeda, makes it. Um, John Cidino, number 72 car, he also makes it. So oh, it's a shame for him that he did not win this qualifying race, but oh well. He makes it at least. Now his teammate has to come in the next race in that awesome car again. So Zach Sasser, number 61 car, um, he makes it. So that's important for him, very important for him. Uh, already st almost certain of a uh, chase of our spot in the chase. Skyler Dixon, 07 car. In 10th position, we got Betty Johnson in 11th. 12th, Amber Zomers. Uh, 13th, Robert Young. So, and 14th, Anna Greg. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's your top 14. Let's take a quick look at what all happened over here because it was quite a mess. Took well, the entire backstretch to Greg. So, Ingle Almiana versus Joseph Ness. So, let's take a look at that. Okay, so it already started over here with Inga Lombliana going a little bit high. She was following Joseph Nessie, it seems like. And then Nick Selman decides to poke his nose underneath her. Which did not work out because there it turns around the 0-1 car. Then Inga Lombliana comes back on the racetrack again. Switch to a different camera angle. And then she ends up right next to Joseph Nesto. Makes contact with him. Leaning on each other. Makes contact, well now they make contact again. And that will turn them into the inside wall pretty hard. And Joseph Nesta will get back on the racetrack. Lose it. Oh, Dana Vasquez is really lucky. Into Cassandra Pericles. Cassandra Pericles, Joseph Nesta both go around. Ingen Ambliana gets more damage. Amber Zobers is very, very lucky. And two cars go spinning. First to go into the wall, I think. Once again, no, I'm not. But they will get stuck on the apron, so that's the reason why they did not continue. So that's a shame for Cassandra Pericles and Joseph Ernesto. Let's get another camera angle over. I think the spectator cam might be fun to watch. So there we go. There's contact between Lombliana and Soman. And there's contact made between the 01 and the 62 car. And ouch. It was, a, well, it was a pretty good lick. And Cassandra Pericles just wrong place, wrong time. Shame for her. And two cars stopped. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was our incident this whole race. There's the driver eventually won it. So, ladies and gentlemen, it will take you. I will take you now to qualifying race number three. And we are back again over here at the Ricky Raceway for um, the Steve Burns 500 qualifying race number 3 over here in the Dascar Gold Super Speedway Series Season 5. We're going to see who will qualify um, him and her or herself in this qualifying race. 14 drivers of the 18 car will make it. Of course, the winners of these qualifying races all have been uh, female, so... Uh, Noortje Smith and Elena Rose. So we got a female front row. Might be possible that we're gonna see three females win these qualifying races. We'll see. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'll skim through you or for you through the field. So we got over here 29 car Ryder Smith. He is on the pole. Um, Ryder Smith. Let's see where he is in points. I think he's pretty far behind. Um, Oh, no, he's not 49th, so it's not even too bad, but well, it will be tough for him to make it in this race. Of course, he has to win that, and then he might not even make it. I will look at that later, though. Introduction, by the way, is in the beginning, if you are curious. So. Uh, Momo Ikari, number 9 car in 43rd, so she must win to make it in this chase uh, as well. Elisa Gonzalez, 63, well, I would say, forget it. Um, Lisa Gonzalez just too far behind in points. Um, 
58 in points. She's still in the, on the list, though. So, yeah, but it will be tough for her as she has 40 points. And Ray Taggart has 135. So, I would say it's in, almost impossible. Of course, it might be possible if there are only four winners. If if Diane Vasquez makes it in top 20 points, that's pro oh, that's uh, okay. That's the reason why I forgot that. But if Diana Vasquez makes it in top 20 in points, then there will be only four of those remaining five uh, winners. Spots will be given to those to those upper people. So Rob Young, J.D. Kate Skirvin, Ray Tekna. And then eventually Lisa Gonzalez might be the fifth one. So it's not over until it's over. <laughs> That's how exciting this is. So. Then we got Momo Ikari in number 14 car. Uh, 32nd in points, so she uh, is... 39 points behind the 20th, so it's gonna be tough for her to make it in the top 20, but it is possible though. We got a 50 car of Bruce Little John with the um, yeah, nice looking dude on the front. So, uh, Bruce Little John, I'll stay focused. Bruce Little John, not sure where she is, but it seems like she's not doing very great. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. hang on, hang on, she is 16 points. <laughs> Never mind. So Prince Lil John already pretty certain to make it in. If she makes it into this uh, race, she's going to be in the chase. So I'm pretty sure of that. Of course, Sonic Course 51 car, where it's a little bit more uncertain. 25th in points. She was in top 20 points, but fell back. Uh, she's only 6 points behind Bastini. So if she makes it in this race, yeah, she has a pretty good chance to make it in the, in the chase. Of course, yeah, then she has to run a good race. And that seems to be... Her struggle this season. So Justin Yee in number 64 car. Yeah he is 17th in points. And that is 3 points. No 7 points in front of 21st in points. So yeah it's going to be tough for him. But well, we'll see. We got 82 car. Elina Suiten. Uh, 41st in points. She of course had to share her car with a couple of drivers. And I'm still surprised. She's still 41st in points. Even though she raced only... One race in the first five races, maybe not even. So, she's raced very few races, but successful it seems like. Only decided to going to finish the season off, possibly in the chase if she has to, if she wins this main race. Then we got Saya Sumi in number forty-three car, forty-fourth in points. So she also must win this race. Of course, she is replacing um, Kasan Renzi. Also came in halfway through the season after well she was in a 14 car got injured then 43 and so on. JDL she is in a chase both her and her teammate Kate Skirvin. Excuse me, hang on. It's kind of surprising that both he, her, or both she and her teammate Kate Skirvin have a win this season. So uh, 30 sec 32 points behind 20. So I think she just has to hope for that win to be enough to get in. Uh, through wild cards positions, so Nicole Trenowicz in number 17 car. Yeah, she's seven the points, uh, 46 points behind or in front of 20th. So, I would say she's already certain if she makes it in this race. If she makes it in this race, there we got the three car Kate Skirvin in her tribute scheme for her uh, grandpa, I believe. <coughs> so, Kate Skirvin, um, also has a win. Already, or well, pre almost pretty certain to make it in the chase. So, but of course, she has to stay in front of Ray Takeda and the other winner if that person is not in the top 20 points. So, Bad Black in the number 56 car. Um, where is she in points? Um, yeah, sometimes this is a little bit searching. Oh, she's 40th in points. So, oh, Molly Black, excuse me, it's the other black. But well, Molly Black, 40th in points, must win to make it in this chase. So, a must win for her. Did I? Oh, I'm not sure. Denise Steinauer, um, yeah, she is must win as well. But she's not even in the top 59 points. So, it's she has had a terrible season. And it's so not for her as she is a great race car driver. Uh, one of the most, well, I think the successful one, the most successful one of her team. Um... Almost well, she had a big chance to. She had a big chance to win the Phillips Cup Series season seven championship. She won one race so far. So, but unfortunately for her, um, I don't think it's gonna happen for her in in the um, in this series. So, Dylan Young, twenty four, twenty uh, third in points. So that's gonna mean that he with sorry five points being behind twentieth position 
placed car or something he um, has to just get a solid finish and then he might make it top 20 in points and yeah that would be everything for him we got Eric and Rachel in the number 42 car remember last season this is the race track where he started um, th he made his debut in one of the NASCAR series I believe and he won the qualifying race immediately so Eric and Rage, um, he's 53rd in points, actually only 2 points behind his teammate Kenny Bill, uh, who's also in right 42 car. Um, Eric and Rage just has to, if he wins this thing, then yeah, he might be successful with teammate Kenny Bill, I think, he won the qualifying race last time. Uh, no, yeah, he did, he was still on the pole, so we'll see what Eric can do now. We got 60 car of Jackson Brown. 51st in points, he must win to make it in this chase, so tough one for him. And then we got Jane Pinter, 18th in points, ah, three points in front of Harry Hill's 21st, so yeah, it's gonna be a tough one for Jane, but well, he must make it, I would say. I, I just think he must make it in this race, otherwise, he just falls out of the top 20 in points. But that reminds me though, he has a win, I believe. Did he? No. Oh no, he did not have a win. Oh, some yeah, that's something I forgot as well. Sorry about that. So, um, Jeffrey Fingai, of course, um, doesn't matter too much. But Jeffrey Fingai has a win, so should have marked it as well. Justin Yee has a win. Uh, let's see who else. I don't think anybody else who's important. Um, who? So Jeffrey Fingai, he he has a win. So even if he falls out of the top twenty. He's fine, so should not forget to mention that in the main race. There we go. <coughs> so my my voice still not great, and I hope that you uh, are alright with this. Listening to this already for forty six minutes, possibly some of you might. Yeah, I yeah, know. I I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fine with when the main race comes. It's just when I had the party, it's just junk. So I hope it will be fine. So, number nine car of Mako Iguchi on the pole. Oh, it seems like she's surrounded by Chevy, by Chevys and Fords, and then one Dodge. So. <coughs> Let's see what will happen now. 18 cars, 14 of them will make it into the main race. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Well, we got the number nine car on the pole, and Makoto Iguchi will bring us to the green flag one more time today. So, I would say the key is not to wreck. That will be the key for this qualifying race and for the other ones as well. Some people, I'm not sure, it might be laying off, we'll see. Big pack of cars, 18 cars, we're seeing already 2-3 wide over here for 2nd and for 5th position I think it's now, 4th or something, whatever. We got Sonic Corsa in number 51 car, she's making it, having a good run over here, but she's now going up high. Here comes Aileen the side in number 82 car. Ah, it's gonna be a tough one. I think it's gonna be a tough one. Aileen decides is going for the lead now. So, that's good. That's what she needs. Oh, she gets turned. Oh, boy. There we go. The 52 cards get spun in front of the whole field. And that has damaged quite a lot of cars. And more cars now spinning and crashing and stuff. Oh, my goodness. Jade Hale, one of the drivers who will not make it in this race. I think here are two other ones. A lot of damage to Prus Lil Jill and to Saya Asumi. There the night car of Makoto Iguchi pitting and more cars pitting. So moving up front over here. What does this mean? Elena South is in the lead and Sun of course is right behind her. But here comes Kate Skirvin though with Molly Black and with Nicole Tranowich. That 51 car might have a little bit of damage as well. And the 82 car, I'm not sure, but it seems like I think these five guys are go drivers are gonna battle for the win. And yeah, all female, wow, what a surprise! All female drivers over here. 
so all f these five drivers are gonna battle for this win. Oh, I forgot to turn this on, sorry about that. So the 14 car has retired, so I assume that's a shame. Well, there's the 9 car coming on the racetrack again, I think, but I'm already pretty sure that these guys, well, these guys will make it for sure, so well, that's lucky wish for some of these. I know that, um, for example, let's see. Yeah, Nicole Trenovis, of course, being in top 10 in points. Kate Skirvin doesn't matter. Son, of course, she must get in this race. Of course, it's not over yet. As we have a left car who is now holding up the bunch. That's great. So, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. Final lap. We got Kate Skirvin going down low with Son, of course, and with Molly Black. How important would it win be for one of these drivers? Yeah, very important, I can tell you that. But of course they... Oh no! Guys, come on, you are already in this race if you just finish like this. And then they crash, almost. Jesus, that was so stupid. And now it's Kate Scribby, yeah, she's gonna run away with this win. Our teammate is one of the drivers who will most likely not qualify. She's gonna make it over here. Coming around, what a nerve-wracking nerve moment that was for these guys. But this is Kate Skirvin, I'm getting too late, who win this qualifying race. And get those 9 bonus points, which she needed, well, not at all. Um, she might make it now in top 20 points, so... Oh my goodness! Oh, you are... We got f 5 cars over here, everybody else behind there is far behind. Just racing around, and these 5 cars battling for the win, if they would have just finished, then... They would have been in this race with very great position for this uh, main race, but still they decide to crash almost. Oh, this is not useful, guys. Come on. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's see. Top 40 makes it, of course. So, yeah, who did not make it? Jade Hill is one of the drivers who did not make it, and the other ones are all on pit road to have damage. So, Jade Hill doesn't matter too much for her. Uh, I'm not actually sure. She has to hope and she has to stay in front of Ray Tackle if somebody who gets a win who is not in top 20 in points. So we'll see. But maybe it's not too good for her. <coughs> yeah, Justin Yi. But he has a win. Justin Yi has a win. Uh, yeah, he has a win. Came at 8 balls, so he's lucky in that case. Um, would be even worse for the for than uh, for Jade Hill if he falls out top twenty, which is actually very likely now. So Jade, Jade, Justin Yee might be he has to have luck and still gonna be nervous for him though. We got Makoto Iguchi in the number nine car. Um, I would say over for her. She's not gonna get in this chase and uh, Moa Ikari in the number fourteen car. Uh, what was she in points? My Kari. 30 second points so also for her, it's all over. Not getting in his chase. Now of course getting in his chase, possibly. Kate Skirvin getting nine bonus points, that's gonna help her a lot. Um winning so being on in third position and if starting this race is so important for him for her. Uh then we got uh Molly Black in number fifty six car making it. Son of course in number fifty one car that's very important for her twenty fifth in points making it. Nicole Trunowitz in number seventy car almost certain of making it in this chase now qualifying. Aileen decided to still has a small chance then for forty third in forty first in points. Jane Pinter, that's what he needed. Eighteenth in points, that's what he absolutely needed. Eric Ray still has a small chance to make it in this chase. Uh, we got, let's see, Jackson Brown in the number 60 car also has a very small chance, but it's a very, very small chance though. Especially with, um, with the, well, I would say Justin Yi and Zach, oh, Jeffrey Fingai not making it in the main race. So Denise Steinauer, for her also the same story as for Jackson Brown, although for her it's even more critical. So but at least she makes it, so all three options make it. Not as great for them. Um... Dylan Young, a 24 car, uh, makes it in the main race. Then also Ryder Smith, number 29. Saya Asumi in a 43 car, got lucky this time. And uh, as well as uh, Lisa Gonzalez in the number 53 car. So, yeah, lucky break for her. 
58. At least she's gonna race. I think she's pretty happy with that. And of course, Bruno Littlejohn, number 50 car. I would say, oh, uh, I would say certain to make it in this main race. I mean, like, yeah, she's she's sixth in points, 47 points in front of 21st. So. <coughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick look at the replays and then we're going to end it. I think it's already long enough, 54 minutes. So, let's take a look at the replays. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are back again. This is where it started. As you can see, it already started with Jade Hale getting in the back of the 82 car. I'm not 100% sure, actually. It might have already... No. 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 No, the car says. But well, Jane Hill got in the back of the 82 car of Alien Sight. It was a close call. Alien Sight, she has been turned two times this qualifying race. Still managed to finish in what is fifth or something. So, yeah, lucky. Very lucky. And there it was Makoti Gucci got in the back of the 52 car. Oh, that's a shame. That's where she got. That's where Sun, of course, got her damage. But she was lucky that the 52 car then spun up high the racetrack and not down low because then she would have been caught up. And now it's caught up, the 64 car just need a lot of damage to him. And then Sayasu runs in the back of him. Um, then of course proves Lil John. Oh, 52 car turns down into in front of uh, Lisa Gonzalez and the 50 car of proves Lil John. There's Sayasu we get the damage. So well, quite a lot of cars were involved in this thing actually. Of course, the person getting the worst of it is the number 52 car of Jade Hill. You think, of course, because she's spun, but there are some drivers who retire, so. Full speed. There we go. <coughs> and this is one of. This is just like the previous crash, just one of those very, very long crashes. It takes them a long time to spin around eventually. Of course, a little John, nice save. Well, that was a really nice save, but. Fortunately for her, she's not gonna be. Oh, she's she still makes it, but not gonna be very successful. Then let's take a look at the last lap. It all started over here with Angus Sight once again being turned. This time it was by uh, Nicole Trenowitz. So, man, these these four girls are so lucky. They're really Sight and Sonic Course. Shooting up the race from Molly Black going on the apron. They are so damn lucky that they eventually still managed to save their cars. Could have been a whole lot uglier, I would say. There we go. Full speed, this camera angle. Just too aggressive by Nicole Zranovic. Was no use for that, but oh well. She's gonna make it in the chase, so I'm not sure. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's it over here. So, Kate Skirvin will be your third woman to win a qualifying race. Together with North Smiths. And with Elena Rose, so ladies and gentlemen, it will be a top three. Full starting grid will be at the end of the video, so of course, Steve Burns 500 will be up, I'm not sure when, coming week, I would say. I, my holiday has finally started, so two more weeks, and then after that, we'll have exams, so no racing in those weeks. So, thank you for watching this time, and we'll see you then next time. The main race, which will be Steve Burns 500, here in the Dascar Golf Super Speedway Series Season 5 2015. Here on Sport One.